Welcome to Outdoors with Chuck. Today we're going to be looking at, in the heat, <laughs> you can see all the sun protection I have right now. I might even get to 100 degrees today. But, to stay on the subject, the Chase Bait's big wiggle bomb, baby. What attracted me to this is that other friends that I gave this bait were catching fish on it and I wasn't. So I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. You know, I always throw the prop duster, I throw the swim baits, I throw the craws, I throw the love bug. We're gonna throw this today. Nice tadpole looking imitation. It's even got like a little mouth right there up, up front. Got some eyes that are molded into the body and nice curly tail for our action. This color is called bronze, has a belly weight here. So I'm gonna do a combination of fishing it on bottom, but also like pulsating it off the of bottom and maybe even some subsurface action. The hooks are actually bent up with this soft TPE stretchy body. That's gonna be really great for our hookup ratio. Cause if you know anything about frog fishing, it gets so frustrating. If you don't modify the hooks, you're gonna miss a bunch of bites. Guys, um, two pressure spots that we're gonna fish today. If you watch my videos, you're gonna notice and recognize these spots, but that doesn't mean it's easy. <laughs> these spots are definitely not easy. I haven't caught me a fish in a couple weeks, but to get a fish out of here or the next spot is gonna be tremendously amazing for us, especially in the heat, 11 a.m. I might fish until about maybe 1 p.m. or so. But if this thing gets bit in the freaking Texas heat at these pressure spots, and it's a successful bait. Let's see what happens. It's always exciting to throw a new bait. Let's get to reviewing, baby. Let's get fishing. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Wiggle Bomb's a tadpole looking frog style bait. Two hooks coming out the back. I want to throw here in the shade. Very matted top of the water here. But throw here in the shade. What a toss. Let it sink to the bottom. Nice curly tail, so it's got a little bit of action on us. Oh, we got a squirrel friend over here. What's up, dude? Okay, here at a local, very pressured pond, you guys. This spot is, uh, man, there's never not a pole in the water, like unless this thing is frozen over, you know? So this gets all the pressure you can think of. Oh, we got another little opening right here. Keep bouncing this up and down, kind of like a jig. It looks like a really fat tadpole. About every body of water in Texas has some darn frogs in it. But right down here, oh yeah, oh yeah. Some got it, some got it. Got him. On the wiggle bomb, baby. Oh, when it gets hot like that, you pop it. Right in the little opening, they'll come up and get it. They'll come up and get it. Old buddy almost swallowed this thing. That is so cool. Not cool that he almost swallowed it, but first fish on the wiggle bomb. Never caught a fish on that thing, and here we are. Beautiful. See ya. Woo! That was awesome, bro. <laughs> that was so cool. If you wanted to look, that's the hook, the whole mechanism with the weight and everything without the body on it. Let's put that right back in. When it bit, this plastic slipped up, just the hook was in their mouth. All right, let's get it re-rigged. Flipping and pitching the wiggle bomb, baby. Let's go. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Cool. That's all we needed to see. I'm guessing a lot of times in the heat, especially if there's good shade that's casted among it, Fish will sit on walls. Let's see if we got any bass on this wall here. Yeah, yeah. Run it oh up, yeah, oh Rondo. yeah. Up, here's one, here's one. Got him. Called it. <laughs> Called it immediately. He said, how'd you know? <laughs> Called it right there, baby. Let's go. Hey, we are two and O. Oh. Let's get it. Oh, these hooks are sharp. That thing went in there. He swallowed this mug for sure. Okay, hooks out, there it is. See ya, oh crap, crap, oh crap, 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 crap. Dang, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
I wanted to grab him before he, dang, that sucks. Quick, but a hurtful release. Oh my goodness, I hope he's okay. He be all right. <laughs> Might have a little concussion. He be all right. Hey, there it is. Talked about it. Real life, it happened. Sitting on that, that wall, come out, boom, attacked it. This thing is dark and also shiny enough at the same time that I can just see it happen. I literally watched him do it. Set the hook after he bit it. Now I just gotta re-rig this thing and rinse and repeat. Let's go. This is made of that uh, elastic material with the TPE. So it's lasting these several bites that I'm getting. You know, it's not torn off, like no limbs are torn off. Everything's still there, legs still intact, body's still intact. Want something to be durable, especially at this price point. It's good to have something that's durable, but also something that has quality in it too with some sharp hooks and a good weight in there. Let's go for another cast, see if we can get another one off the wall. That one didn't even get to bottom, I had a chaser. Oh, here's a follower, here's a follower. Ah, oh, it's a bluegill, it's a bluegill. <laughs> That's okay. Can you get a large mouth follower, please? I'm often swimming this thing. It just depends. Usually first cast, I might just bring it amongst like subsurface sort of. And that's just me. You can do whatever, but it's hot right now. So I'm dropping it down, bringing it back like a big swim bait. And that technique has really worked out for me, especially this year, but uh, definitely last year as well. Slowly, like I used to rush all of my casts and it really didn't yield any great results for me. Slowing that thing down, even in the summer, it seems to be paying off. It's paying off real nice. All right. I made a couple casts on this wall, so I'm gonna move down and we're gonna make some more. Another motion I do with this, just to get a lot of action out of that tail, is just to yo-yo it. Just pulse it like that. Pull it up, let it fall. Pull it up, let it fall. Kind of like a rattle trap, but not as fast. All right, y'all. Rock structure right here. Got a couple of fish on it. They're babies. Let's go down this way. I'm gonna fish it high first. See if someone will come up and get it. Next to, next cast, I'll come back lower and slower. See if we can catch them on that big, big tree shade that we're seeing. Let's go. <gasps> Let's go, it worked. We're literally right where I thought I needed to be. It like popped off the bank and hopped right alongside that wall. I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, We've got a light spot over here. Either be panfish or a bass on it. I'm seeing panfish. There goes a jump. I think it was a carp jump, though. We'll figure it out. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Maybe it was a bass that jumped. Got him. Got him, baby. Went and saw it and went and got it. Oh, we seen the veggies. Hold up. Went and saw it and went and got him. Come on over. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, that's a good one. That's a three pounder for sure. Oh, that's a good one. Wiggle bomb, baby. Wiggle freaking bomb. Come on, come on, come on. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Woo, let's go. You had to have been the one that busted because you are nice. Dang, spawn, I'm thinking you're four or five. You might be three and a half. Woo, got my scale at home. Let me get some photos real quick. Bobby, hold on, hold on. All right, I'm done, sorry. <laughs> I got you, dude. Let's get that out of you. Oh, you were strong. You were strong. There we go. Nice big bass on the wiggle bomb. That's how you do it, right there. It works, y'all. So glad we uh, put a little pause on work and went out here and got out the apartment for a little bit.
beautiful. And we'll see ya. Oh yeah, that's a really good sized bass. That is beautiful. Saw the blow up and threw at it. Boom. Wiggle bomb took care of the rest. Let's freaking go, baby. That's how we do it. What a freaking catch. That was a very nice, decent, pressured bass. Beautiful, beautiful catch. Saw a big blow up over there. I know I said it for the third time. Why not throw the wiggle bomb? It's got the weight, it's got the action. Got some tannic water before us. Brown with that glittery flake. <sighs> Perfect candidate. Put him in, coach. <laughs> That's what I needed, man. I don't think I've been fishing in like two weeks. Come out here with a bait that I've never thrown before, that I've never caught fish on until today, and to get really good ones. <sighs> Priceless, man. Oh gosh, I feel so fulfilled. Let's go. Let's go. Oh gosh, that's so awesome. Again, bait still intact, TP material, nice and strong. Beautiful catch. Someone's got it. Someone's got it. Got him. Look at that. Wiggle bomb. Oh, he got off. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't set it right. <laughs> All right, wanted to end it here at this spot. That's it for today. We got a nice big one on the freaking big wiggle bomb like I thought. Look at that, tried and true. This lasted the test of three really good fish. We missed a couple, it's fine. But, man, you'll see that blow up, blast. I heard that blow up and I said, yeah, got him. That's it for the video, you guys. Thank y'all for watching this. Big wiggle bomb definitely did its job out here in pressured North Dallas. Man, I'm excited. Flipping and pitching this thing, casting it, all of the above. It's a really great all-purpose bait. It kind of makes me hate why I slept on it for so long. Pick you up some big wiggle bombs and uh, see the magic that we experienced today. Later, folks.